Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, this is Coco. Um, I decided to just go ahead and, and make a fan based bedini. So I have this computer fan here. Took apart, I had taken it apart a long time ago already, uh, thrown out the PCB and I just finished winding the stator. So I've used a uh, 32 gauge for the trigger and I'll tell you later, I'll tell you how I uh, and I've used uh, oops, 26 gauge for the power, which I think is too thick, but uh, um, for a small thing like that, it's not going to be a lot of current, so you can use bigger. So here's how I did um, the uh, winding. Uh, the six, this two power and, or well, this two power pairs and two and one trigger pair. So what I did is I started so what I did is I started with a trigger you know clockwise if you look from here clockwise and then counterclockwise and then clockwise and then counterclockwise okay this is the trigger and I put uh, 25 25 25 and 25 so 100 windings for the trigger okay so the trigger is picked up from all four stator whatever you call these things okay then what I did I uh, took the uh, 26 gauge I should have probably gotten 28 for the next one I'll do 28 this is for this one I'll do 28 this is a little fatter uh, it's a f oh, damn it I can't take it out anyway it's a fatter stator but um, I'll use 28 gauge uh, then I, I went the same thing I went clockwise here for 55 turns I didn't know if I could do 60 but I'm glad I didn't because they would be overlapping and then it goes into self oscillation uh, so 20 uh, 55 and then I went to the opposite one and I did 55 too also clockwise when you look from the, from the side then I took another piece a string of wire and started here and I did also 55 and then went across and did 55 then I come back and I just sort of tie them together I just twist them together so I know which pairs belong to what so this is the thin one is the trigger and this is a power and this is a power okay or just one um, if I had if I want if I do one I should have really uh, uh, twisted or litzed the uh, wires together so we'll see um, I'll get back to you once I once I've got this done welcome <clears throat> back uh, well previously I had uh, wound this uh, fan core <clears throat> and uh, there was absolutely no go <laughs> I couldn't get it to run I don't know why um, what I didn't do uh, before was I did not uh, cover the the edges with uh, with tape, masking tape. That's just masking tape. Uh, so it could be that they uh, they grind as I as I wound them. They 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 took off the lac and there were some shorts. Still very unlikely. I measured the the impedance uh, uh, the resistance through the was 0 0.6 the 0.4 and 0 0.6 on the power coils so I don't know if if it's a difference in in turns maybe I, I made a mistake and um, only had I don't know 40 turns or 50 or one had more the other one less but anyway, I could not get this to run, um, and I put the the trigger had put the trigger on the oscilloscope, and it was showing uh, plus or minus half to one volt if I cranked the fan really really hard. So uh, that's with no power supply, and uh, the big one I got there um, shows uh, if I if I crank it normally, you know, just uh, throw it on shows a plus or minus two and a half volts so <clears throat> that's a difference 
So I decided to rewind this. I took off the uh, crappy. Well, I don't know the previous, the original one, not the original, the first rewind, and uh, I redid that. So now I've, I have a hundred turns. I hope it's hundred turns because it's hard to keep track. A uh, hundred turns each of uh, thir number number thirty-two, thirty-two gauge wire, and now I'm going to use twenty-eight gauge for the power. Um, I don't know if I'm going to. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to <clears throat> do two power winds, uh, two separate power windings, and uh, or just one. Um, if I had, if I want, if I do one, I should have really uh, uh, twisted or litzed the uh, wires together. So we'll see. Um, I'll get back to you once I. Once I've got this done. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so I, I put 80 turns of number eight, uh, 28 gauge um, wire on this and this guy. And uh, if you look from the front, it's always uh, clockwise. Clockwise here and then clockwise here. Okay, so I'm going to put it back on this guy and put the... Uh, the rotor on and see if this works. Okay, so I hooked it up. Uh, I didn't start the first time, so I switched the two power uh, thingies. I hooked it up on the oscilloscope. Uh, I mean, before I hooked it on, it's not hooked on now, so it's pointless. Uh, and it uh, cranking it, you know, by hand like this. I don't know. Cranking it by hand like this showed about plus and minus one and a half volts. So uh, more than before, and uh, I switched this uh, around, and then I cranked it up, and it worked right away. So, but it it ran for less than ten seconds, and then it stopped. Uh, and this transistor got scorching hot in so little time. So probably shorted. Um, blew the transistor the I don't know if this light is is uh, is busted but I uh, had taken off because this battery was connected take it took it off to see if it was lighting it didn't light up so maybe it was busted and I shorted the uh, transistor or I busted the transistor so anyway so but the winding works so I'm happy about that and I'll keep going uh, the this 80 80 turns of power uh, wire on each of the current uh, coils